There are a lot of new GPTs out there that can help marketers get things done fast, but I know that it's pretty daunting when you open up that GPT store. There's so much garbage and things that are not related to what marketers and entrepreneurs do. And that's why I created this video to showcase seven of the most effective GPTs out there in the GPT store. If you're new to the Blazing Zebra channel, I want to welcome you and thank you for joining me on my mission of helping marketers and entrepreneurs around the world. My goal is to provide you with practical and actionable AI skills that not only increase profitability but help you enjoy your day-to-day -day even more if you're enjoying these videos please consider supporting me on patreon there's a link in the description with tons of extra resources some coaching options cheat sheets and a whole lot more all right so the first one I want to show you is canva and if you have no idea where to get started you just got to log in to the paid chat GPT 4 version explore GPTs is going to take you to the GPT store and you can search for canva if you've never used Canva before, it's a very helpful tool when it comes to designing things. These can be quick things or they can be more intensive things, but I use it a ton as uh, Photoshop was really just too much for me. So this is a really cool GPT that can do a lot of things. Uh, I'm just going to show you a quick example. So I've just put in here, I'm looking for a simple professional design to announce my new video called 7 GPTs that marketers can't ignore. Can you create something like this? Let's see what it does. Got to click allow and it starts generating some templates here. So this gives you an idea of these different templates that you can use. It's going to generate five or six, I think. All right. So you can see it has pulled in a few different reference pieces here that we can take a look at. And when you click into these, it'll take us to the Canva app where we can then customize this based on what we need. But it has helped get us into Canva. It's helped pick out some nice different templates to use. And if you ask it that you'd like to adjust one of these, it's not going to be able to adjust it quite yet, but it can give you directions on exactly how to do that. So I've asked it, can you adjust number four to be in purple and neon green? It will show you exactly how to do that. So this can really help you if you're not sure where to click. Canva is a very powerful tool, but it is uh, pretty simply laid out so that it's easy to get started. But under the hood, there is a lot of functionality and this GPT can help you find all of that stuff and access it as well as accessing these templates, which is very helpful. All right. So the next one on my list is consensus for any content creators. This is going to be huge. This is an AI research assistant with access to over 200 million academic papers. Really cool stuff. One of the biggest problems with creating content with ChatGPT or with Anthropics Claude is that you don't necessarily know where it's getting its information. But with this and the next one, these GPTs will show you exactly where the information is coming from. So I'm just going to select draft a blog on science based benefits of mindfulness. Let's see what it does with all of these. You got to click allow. And here it goes. It's drafting the blog posts. But look at that. The best part of it is it's giving you links to these academic papers. I think the big problem when you're creating content is that it's just fluff. It's not grounded in anything other than one person opinion. This is going to definitely help you get around that. You can do some very, very interesting things here. If you've got any niche B2B clients that you're working with, start doing some searches in here and see if you can get some good things started. This may not be the end all be all of your blog posts, but it can sure help you get started. So there you go. Tons of cool info there with citations. The next one I want to show you is similar. It's called Scholar. It can be another way of finding these uh, highly referenced pieces when you're creating researched blog posts. Just type in scholar. So let's take that same chat idea and see what this one creates. So we have an apples to apples comparison. All right. So this looks really good. I think it will actually give us the references at the bottom here once it's done creating everything. Those are two great GPTs that can help you do your research when you're creating content or anything else. So let's move on to the next one I have on my list, the FAQ generator. This one is pretty powerful as it can take any web page and generate an FAQ from that. So let's start with turning a URL into an FAQ. It's going to ask us for the URL. Drop that in here. This is a AI coaching program that I'm working on launching. All right. So it generated an FAQ here of a few different questions from this URL. 
It also sometimes will generate HTML or schema formats if you need that. And you can nudge it to keep on creating different FAQs. So I've asked it, can you please create a few more FAQs from this URL and it'll go on, it'll get a little bit more in depth with these FAQs. This can be really helpful if you've seen some of my other videos where I use FAQs to create knowledge bases that chatbots can use. So in short, if you're building a chatbot, if you're building a custom GPT, oftentimes you'll need a knowledge base. And to create a knowledge base, oftentimes you need an FAQ. And to create an FAQ, you can use this custom GPT to create one from a URL of whatever you're trying to train that chatbot on. Moving along to this convert anything, I think this is the, one of the most popular, one of the most powerful custom GPTs, convert anything, fairly self-explanatory, but you can convert PDFs into JPEGs, you can turn a document into an Excel file, images into PNGs, MP4s, even it supports zip files, it says. so. This doesn't need a whole lot of explanation. This uh, GPT can help you convert anything. So anytime your client sends you a file that you need to change to another format, this is a great place to go. Okay, the next one on my list here is one that I created. This is my PPC campaign generator. If you do any PPC, I suggest you give it a whirl. You can start by copying and pasting basic website information or competitive information in here and it'll move forward with creating a complete PPC campaign. I'll show you how it works. So I'm just gonna select everything from this page here and hit copy. I'm gonna paste that in. Again, this is a AI coaching program I'm working on. I wanna create a PPC campaign for. Dropping all that in, fairly messy. You can see there, I don't need to clean that up. And it's gonna start by generating four different campaign ideas. You can pick all of these. You can pick one, two, three. I'm just gonna say four looks good. It's gonna start generating the ICP, or ideal customer profile here, with some ideas for ad targeting. I'm just gonna say number one looks good. So then start diving into the specific demographics, behaviors, etc. from that first audience. You can repeat this for other audiences or even and get it to do a couple at a time. You don't want it to do more than a couple at a time as there won't be enough memory in the context window. There won't be enough short-term memory to do it justice. So now it's moving on to the keyword step. Let's just say, let's continue. And this comes up with keyword ideas that you can use. I would say use these as a starting place. These aren't gonna be as good as a keyword specific tool like Ahrefs or SEMrush, but it'll get you started. Now let's move on to step five, Google Ads. There's your Google Ads with uh, your character counts all should be pretty close approximations to what they need to be. Now we're moving on to Facebook ads. You can tweak those as you see fit or you can find a few that resonate with you and ask it to create more in the uh, tone of the ones that you like the most. But now let's move forward with creating a full landing page. And there's the landing page copy. It's got all your visual uh, notes there about some visual treatments. And the final step here is creating a video script. As you may know, videos are becoming a very popular form of advertising and the static ads can't do a lot of the things that a TikTok video, YouTube short, or Instagram reel can do. But this will then now walk you through the creation of a full short video based on everything we've done so far. So again, that was my PPC campaign creator. I'm not currently getting paid when anyone uses this. I know they've said that's the case, but I don't want this to seem quite like an advertisement. This is just a free resource out there that I've spent a lot of time building. So. Go ahead and check that out. I hope you get some use out of that. Okay, so here's another one that I've created. This is a comment analyzer, so you can just drop in a bunch of comments and it will analyze them for you. I've got a full video on how to scrape these comments off of YouTube. I'll put a link to that uh, above, but let me just show you how this one works. I'm just copying in a bunch of comments that I grabbed off of another AI marketing video just to get a feel for what questions people are asking and understand their needs. I'm dropping that in here and let's watch it go to work. So the first step here is that it is categorizing all of the comments and I'm going to say let's move on with step two. This will be identifying representative comments from these different categories. So finding one specific comment that we can focus in on as uh, we're diving deeper into these categories. Categories. And the idea here is that you're really getting into the heads of the audience 
And these comments can help you really understand the language that they're using when they're describing their problems. The next step here is it'll create an empathy map of this audience. And then step four of this process, it will automatically lead you to creating content titles that would address the comments of this category. Step five creates audience personas based on these comments. And step six proposes ways to engage more deeply with these personas. Step seven that it'll lead you to is identifying types of content requested by this audience. And there you have a quick demo of my comment analyzer GPT that takes a bunch of comments from YouTube. You can also use comments from Amazon and it basically turns that into a sketch of a content plan which is very exciting because it actually is based right off of user comments which is really some of the most impactful market research you can do because they're not in a focus group, they're not getting paid to answer questions, they're just out there in the wild voicing their opinion. I've got a few more that I'll put a link in the description to, and I would like to just urge you to consider creating your own custom GPT for your clients, for your business. This can be a great way to get some additional traffic to your site, especially if you want to publicize that custom GPT in various ways. And it's a great stepping stone to learning some of these skills and building some assistance that can then be useful in a lot of different automations down the road. I have a whole video on creating a uh, assistant that will answer emails on your behalf. So I would encourage you again to try creating one of these for your own business that pulls people back to your website that gives you some additional um, exposure and traffic. Awesome. So thanks a ton for watching. I've got a cheat sheet version of this video and all of my videos available in my Patreon. There's a link below to that. It's got a ton of resources. There are some one-on-one -on -one coaching options as well as some group coaching options there. I'd love to work with you if there's any problems you're looking to solve. And please, if you got something out of this video, feel free to like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're working on. Let me know what videos I should be making. I'd love to hear from you. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Make your dreams come true.